Yo, what's up guys? My name is Shizuraku and on this channel I make all kinds of videos like music edits with Assetto Corsa clips, sim adventures where I go on virtual adventures in Assetto Corsa, trying out new maps or cars, Toge season where I drive on Toge live servers mostly and I'm trying to capture the craziest or funniest moments or videos like this one where I show you some cool car packs. Usually, I talk about what car I chose for the video and what toge we will be trying the car at. After a first person sequence where I try the handling and aero beat to spice up the things a little, a conclusion of what I think about the car follows and then a short outro. This time though, I want to switch things up a bit so I'm gonna give you a conclusion of my thoughts right from the start. Don't worry, next video will probably be done in the old the usual style but I just wanted to shuffle the cards in this series since most episodes are done in the same style which I enjoy it's my style of storytelling but I still wanted to try something new so here we are for this video I chose as you already know from the picture and title RX-7 from the fifth stage the Amemiya RX-7 that Keisuke was driving I prefer the usual RX-7 more but this kit looks really cool too and since I didn't know which toga should I choose, I wanted to take a road of unknown and choose one that I don't see in any videos that often, Takigahara toge. I first found this toge when I was on toge spirit server and as I was driving on this toge with Civic back then I noticed how unforgiving this toge is, a real nightmare. And since I never tried this exact RX-7 before, I thought this car is gonna be the right thing for this toge attack but guess what? I was wrong. This RX-7 isn't anything like what I expected, since the final part of previous season ended with Amemiya RX-7 with Carbon Hood, I thought this one, without Carbon Hood, will be pretty much the same and since the other one was epic, I thought this one will be epic. I was wrong again. This car has a crazy torque which makes it spin out immediately after you step on the gas so you have to be extra careful with it and as I mentioned in the previous video with Supra I am not good with throttle control since I am pretty good at finding the right tune for myself I thought I might try tuning it but I was wrong again god damn so what do I do? I can't even finish one run without crashing. Is it me? Is it the car mode? What is going on? To make sure, I went on and tried the AE86 on uphill because I thought maybe the problem is actually the map being too slidey. Yeah, that must be it. But the AE86 was doing pretty fine. So I was pretty desperate. I wanted to make this video, but obviously I can't drive the high torque cars on toges with sick hairpins. So what do I do? I choose toge with less hairpins. Ah, sorry, we do aerobeats in these, right?
car looks beautiful, 9.5 out of 10, but the bass tune is like 5 out of 10. I couldn't find a way to drive it and I'm not actually an epic driver, never said that, never acted like one, but I think I might be at least average, but this was just torture. Even after tuning it, I wouldn't put it even up to 6 out of 10. But I will, because I still believe that a better driver might know how to use the rotary power as it should be used. This car exhausted all my aura. So thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed a little change in these things. Next video will be back to the usual style. Please enjoy your December and make sure to eat enough vitamins to stay healthy. Corona might not really be the crazy killing virus that they made it to be, but it's still better to not catch it. Have a great time with your family and Merry Christmas.